All right, I want to do a quick talk about uh, listening to the voice of God and something that a lot of people will bring up or ask me when I talk about listening to the voice of God is they will say, well, how do you know that you are not listening to a false voice or you are not listening to a demon or the devil or something like that? And this is a very good question because we as Christians will be tempted. We will be um, tricked into following false um false voices, false gods, false Christs, and everything. So there's a scripture in um, John chapter 10 where Jesus talks about this. That And, and the answer is, we, we just so we can have something to think about while I read these scriptures, the answer is that we learn to hear the voice of the shepherd. So we learn to hear his voice and we learn to block out the other voices that are not him. So in John chapter 10 and verse 1, Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. So he's saying that, you know, the, the person who comes into the front door, that's the shepherd. The person coming in through the windows, those are thieves. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the proper the porter openeth. And the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and they leadeth and leadeth them out. And when he put putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. So he's saying there that his sheep, once he leads us out into pasture, we learn to hear his voice and we learn to avoid the voice of strangers. We follow the shepherd. And if we go, we stay into John chapter 10 and we go to verse 27. Uh, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. So, talking about how do we know the voices we hear are God's voice and not an evil voice, and that is because we, we have learned um, by listening to the shepherd, by following the shepherd, we learn that the that's the person coming through the front door. The person coming in through the windows or sneaking in through through some other means, we learn that those are always, that those are thieves and those are robbers, and to avoid those voices. And also when we are out and following the voice of God, we learn not to be distracted and go and follow the voice of, let's say, the blacksmith or the baker. They follow the shepherd. So that is, that's the answer to that, is that we we learn to hear the voice of God and we learn what to, to how to distinguish now, we're still going to be tricked throughout our entire life. It's going to be a battle of not being tricked and not being fooled. Um, but again, those voices enter in by offering you some type of sin or some type of reward or some type of vanity. So we learn how to recognize that, that, oh, this thing offering me um, uh, relief or whatever, it's through vanity, it's through gluttony, or it's through you know some other type of sin. And we learn to hear the voice of the shepherd, which is always through the heart. It's, uh, God is always speaking to us. He's always very clear. And one thing I will say for me personally, talking about li hearing good voices ver versus bad voices, is that sometimes you'll have a voice come up in your head that tells you, you know, oh, you've screwed up. Oh, you've messed up, and you're never gonna, you're never gonna get out of this. You're never gonna be able to fix this. Though that, in my experience, is never the voice of God. It's never the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit, yes, will chastise us and it will direct us and it will tell us when we are doing things wrong. But it always offers us um, the the way to get through it. It never. The, the conclusion of the Holy Spirit is never, you are never going to fix this. You can never be healed. You can never be um, pure, pure um, cleaned of this. That's, that's always an evil voice trying to tell you to doubt your salvation, trying to tell you to doubt um, God and doubt God's forgiveness. 
and that you don't deserve forgiveness. Well, no, we don't deserve forgiveness. We were given forgiveness through grace. And that's what we have to remind these voices that come up. It's like, yeah, you're right. I don't deserve to be forgiven. But you know what? The grace of God did forgive me. And that, and I have faith in Christ and what Christ did on the cross, that he died for our sins and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture and according to his own, what he told um, his apostles was going to happen, did happen. And you just remind them of that, that yes, thank you for reminding me that I can't get out of this without God. Thank you. And that's what we learn to appreciate. And eventually these, these voices, when they learn they don't have that control, or these voices learn that when they start to interrupt your relationship with God, it's just going to bring more strife into their satanic world. They, they start to kind of leave you alone a little bit more. Now, you'll never be fully left alone. We are always in the flesh. As long as we are alive, we are still living in the flesh. But we learn to hearken back to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit within us, and to walk in the spirit rather than in the flesh and it is it's just an incredible journey and it's something that that god in the scriptures this is this is again why we have to stay in this book we have to read the bible because the answers are in here and god the holy through the holy spirit which is god will guide us through this it will guide us through the scriptures it will guide us through the counsel of God, what God's will is for our life, that's what the Holy Spirit is here for. And so we we have to believe in that and we have to call on God to guide us through this and believe that he will. We can't have any wavering faith that God is not going to be able to get us through this. He will get you through this and you're going to get through it through faith. So that's going to be it for me. Uh, that's uh, I just wanted to bring that up because I hear the question a lot of, of you know, well, how do you know the voice you're hearing is God and not something uh, other? And it's very, that's a very good question and something that, you know, we should go to the scriptures for, in fact, because it tells us over and over again in the scriptures that we have faith. We have, we are justified by faith. So, um, that's what Christ said. We learn to hear the voice of the shepherd and we learn that the ones that are coming in that are not coming in through the door, that those are thieves and to, to avoid them and don't listen to the voices that are not the shepherd. So everyone have a good rest of your day and God bless.